Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for my June favorite. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I focus on luxury beauty here, some fashion, some lifestyle, but I do try to find the best of the best in whatever we are looking at. This month with the weather being warmer, I'm looking more at more lightweight makeup, easier, faster makeup as well. So let's start with SPF. SPF is key for me in terms of um, skincare. You'll get to see my bare skin if you haven't seen any of my videos, any of my videos before. I film a get ready with me. So if you are interested in this look or want to see what my skin looks like without makeup, that will be the next video going up. I'll take you through the entire look. I just filmed it. I didn't actually apply this today because I've applied this in the past because I wanted to show you another product directly on the skin. But this is the Tatcha SPF. 50 plus it's a mineral sunscreen i love it for by itself or with makeup it does a great job of just blurring imperfection it doesn't cover everything so i can just go in with this though a little bit of concealer bronzer powder and i can be done of course some blush and eyebrows as well but it is a really easy spf to apply and to reapply if i don't put any other makeup on top of it really lovely one. So I actually have purchased two more since this one. This was new to me in June. Actually, it's new altogether. It's the Chantecaille Anti-Aging Face Tint. I have that on my skin. So I wanted to show you that directly on because I think the first time I tried it, I had SPF on underneath as well. So I wanted to show you what this looks like right on top of my skin. It's just a hint deeper than my skin tone. So for those lighter tone than me, this is going to provide color for you. For those deeper toned, I'm really curious to know how this works on you, but I love the lightweight feel of this. And I think, again, that's the theme of what we're going for, more lightweight, easy, effortless kind of makeup. And this is one of those effortless makeup products because it really does feel like skincare. It's very comfortable, really pretty on the skin. Doesn't cover up the skin, but just makes it look a little bit better. I love applying this with the Liquid Sculpt brush. So you know I love the Shiseido foundation brush and when I use foundation, I love that brush. I'll put a picture of it here. But this works really well with this product. So I haven't used this with the Shiseido brush because I've been so happy with this, which says a lot. So um, I've yet to try this with other liquid products, but these two together are a winning combination. So if you have tried applying this another way, let us know. But I really like these two together. Okay, moving on to bronzer. Now I have two bronzers because I like them equally. Actually, I love both of them. Not just like I love them both. And I love them equally, but I think the main difference really is the tone. So depending on not just the makeup I'm wearing, I thought about this because I think I said depending on the makeup I'm wearing, like the eyeshadow and lip and blush, um, I would change up. But also the foundation that I wear, I think will um, inform which one I choose. The Chanel bronzer, the cream one in 392, it's the new shade, it's the one right in the middle. And then we've got here the uh, Charlotte Tilbury in medium. So if you look at them here, let me see, if you look at them here, you can see the difference in tones. And so you can see there's a little bit more orange here, a little bit more of a cool tone in here. If you're medium and you're not sure which one to pick, if you like Guerlain bronzers, then you'll like this because this is more towards, I thought this was more towards a Guerlain bronzer, but not until I compared the two. But this one is more unique because I don't see a lot of bronzers with this tone where you don't have the red or you don't have like that orangey tone in there. So I love this one as well. So when I use a warmer foundation like BD41, I used it in a video, but this works really well with it because it is warm. And when I use a cooler blush, blush, did I say foundation or blush? I meant when I use BD41, the foundation, um, this works really well because of that golden tone in it. But when I go in with something cooler, this tends to work better. So I think foundation is really what is going to tell me which one I'll pull for. Um, and also what do I feel like? Cause I love both of them. I think they're both really beautiful. I love them both with my Charlotte Tilbury Kabuki brush. Not created for this particular bronzer, but it works really well with it. Now for concealer, we did something a little bit different this month because I wanted more of a lightweight kind of concealing effect, especially under the eye. I went with this. It's the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch, which can be used as a concealer. So I used it under here under the eye, which I've been doing, and then also in the darker areas. So I've just been using that to kind of brighten not totally cover them up, 
but just to brighten them and just a little bit of concealing. So I went in with that. I love it with the brush it comes with. So it comes with this little brush. It's tapered at the end. I think it does such a nice job under the eye and then also for stippling. And this is in B30. So I tried B40 too deep for that purpose. I think B40 is fine on the exterior of my face, but I don't really need it for that. I need it more for the center of my face center of my face. So I went in with B30 and then I went in with La Prairie concealer right here because I still need a little bit of brightening here and it's just the smallest bit but it makes a huge difference right under here, right under here. And then I went in with the Clay de Peau concealer in the corners because I always need a little bit more coverage here in the corners just to correct this shape here at the end where it changes the shape of my eye where it's more downturned versus this upturned um, shape that is actually the shape of the interior part of my eyes. It like, makes me look a little bit more awake too. So I use that with this, of course, the Clay de Peau concealer brush. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, I've been meaning to point out a skincare favorite every month because I forget. And skincare, I think, is even more important than makeup because if you have great skin to start with, then putting on makeup is way more fun and less work. I know because I had dark spots and it was so, so much work to work with them and work around them. I learned a lot along the way about color correcting, texture, powders, you name it, because I lived with it every single day. So I know a lot, maybe more than I want to know about covering up dark spots. But now that I don't have them as badly, nearly as badly they are very manageable now i always knew the power of skincare but i really feel it every day when i put my makeup on because it's way way more fun to put on makeup now because my skin's in really probably the best shape it's been in in years one of the things this doesn't have to do with dark spots but this one has to do with lifting because i am over 50 now and i'm thinking about uh, things that lift depuff things like that without anything invasive. So I use topical products and this is a Bio Lifting Serum Plus by Shantikai. I use the whole Bio Lifting line, I'm gonna say. I think I have everything in the Bio Lifting line and I've incorporated most of it into my routine. If you wanted to start with something in that line, I would try this one because serums typically have some of the most powerful ingredients in them. So this is a great one, the Bio Lifting Serum. I use this day and evening. Also, speaking of depuffing, I received this recently, the Ice Globes by Derm Store, and I think they're on sale, and if they're no longer in stock, I'll leave a link to something similar, but they come like this, and it's great because you can store them in the fridge, because you actually it says to store them in the fridge um, for a minimum of 10 minutes or in a bowl of cold water. So they just are housed like this, and they come out, and I'm sure you've seen these before, and I've seen them myself, but I've never used them until I got these. So there's water in there, and I just, and I'll show you in the get ready with me how I use them. But they're so soothing on the face, but there's some, like, um, it's like the use of cold spoons before when you put them under your eyes, or I've done that before. Same idea, it's just cooling, and if anything, it's got a cooling sensation on the skin as well. But I use a lot of things, not a lot, but I use a few different gadgets like the new face device that's got a microcurrent in it. I've used the very difficult to get uh, the Shantikai biolifting tool. I use that and um, there's another product by Shantikai. It's kind of like the Nurse Jamie one with a tourmaline. I have that for the face as well. So lots of things that I try on my face uh, to help, you know, keep everything going in this direction. Plus it comes in a kit as well. It's like a $650 value for a hundred and something. So if that's still available, I will leave that link below as well. But that's a really good deal. And I unboxed that one with my mom if you saw that one. These came in there. So I'm really glad that I got to try these. Very simple product, but I really like it. I've got everything lined up here. I cleaned so I can see things now versus like couldn't see anything before because it was all jumbled together. So I feel so much better now that it's clean. Then we've got the Le Beige. These are the Water Fresh Blushes, which when I saw them, I think they were released in Asia maybe earlier, like almost a year ago, something like that. Don't quote me on that. But I know I saw them on Instagram somehow. I thought they might be kind of a gimmick because I was afraid they'd be too light to see on my skin, which the first two I tried in light pink and light peach were almost imperceptible on my skin. But these two are so much better and I love them. So I have here warm pink, 
and I have Intense Coral. So I have both of them on. And Warm Pink is like if you want something really natural, and then Intense Coral is if you want to see it. So you'll see this for sure, the Warm Pink, if you're my shade, but it won't be as evident but you will see definitely it on your skin. So I think I put on light peach and I thought I couldn't see it at all. But I can see this one and I can see the result and I can see that it gives me a healthier glow. Now if you want to see that you have blush on your face, um, like sometimes I do when I edit it for a pop of color, Intense Coral's a really pretty shade. So these two I think if you're medium would be great choices and you have to like warm toned blushes. If they want to continue doing this product, they'll need to include some cooler toned blushes as well because I think that's why light pink went so quickly because it's the only really cool toned one of the bunch. Of course we went in with Chantecaille's uh, eye base. Still love this one. A little goes a long way. I've decided that for me, the less I put on, the better it goes for me. Just go light handed with this if you are still working it out. Feel like the thinner the layer the better. The fragrance I used today, Darby Rose, it's so beautiful. I love this one because it's unlike any other rose fragrance that I've tried. I don't really like rose notes in my fragrances, which is surprising that I would pick this because it's called Darby Rose, so your main note's going to be rose. But this is a very modern, very clean, fresh rose scent. It's more like a rose plant with the rose and everything else included for me because I'm picking up other things other than the rose. There are other notes in here, but there's a very much like a, a watery, I don't know if that's a scent of water, but there's that water element to it that helps keep this fresh and light and really, really pretty. And that one is by Chantecaille. For the uh, eye, I did a really simple eye today. I just used one brush. I used this Shiseido brush, which I love, and I just pulled the color out. I don't think I even blended, did I? No, I didn't. I was gonna blend if I needed to, and I kind of forgot to look, so I hope it looks okay. I think it does. Um, but I went in with just this color here, and then with a brush, and then I used my clean hands to put two more colors down, this one and this one, and that was it. Oh yeah, and then I did use this brush though, this Esam, this is a really nice one, T05, to take the deepest shade here, and I turned that into the eyeliner, and I just wiggled that into the lash line, and that was it. And so I went above and below. It was so fast, because I did this look this morning. I had to run an errand, um, so I just kind of played around, and I've been loving this. I forgot about this. So I really want to get back into the Chanel products I have that I need to explore a little bit more. So I might do one eye, one cheek, one lip with current Chanel products because I feel like I haven't really used my Chanel products to the degree that I would like to use them. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing a one eye, one cheek, one lip using products that I already have. Because I think that's useful too if you have the products and just maybe need to be reminded that they're there. <laughs> Because I definitely need to be reminded that I have products that are gorgeous, beautiful. I just haven't had time to use them. This is not going to be a surprise. The Clay de Peau Face Enhancing Luminizer. Did I get that right? I don't think so. Luminizing Face Enhancer. I do not know why I can't remember the order of the words there. Luminizing Face Enhancer. This is an 018. I love this. It does such a subtle adjustment to the makeup. This just does something to the skin to make it look healthier, more perfected, smoother, more radiant, all those things that you want skin to look like. I, this does it, and it's very subtle. I just apply it very strategically right here in the front, on the bridge of my nose. Oh, I could have gone on the inner corner. I didn't do that. Let's do that now. We just usually use this lighter, like pale, um, yellowy, it's not yellow, but you know, it's a lighter color. I guess it's a light yellow. Yeah, this color right here using this color right here, and then inner corner. But that's not the only thing I used it for. I used it here, I used another bridge of my nose, and then the inner corner. Okay, that's it. Um, but I love that one, and it just doesn't emphasize texture. If you go heavy-handed with it, it will, but just go light-handedly. It only takes a little bit anyway. Um, I love that one. Oh, of course, I used the Rowan powder brush with that. A lovely one, it's just perfect for that area. This is the Sonia G Pencil One brush. It's a really great one. I use it all the time for the bridge of my nose, inner corner. Then we've got the, this. I forgot because I bought this at the Sephora, buy something, get 15% off, and then by the time I could use my 15% off, 15% off, I couldn't think of anything I needed, and then I just let it go. So I didn't use 
the discount that I bought that for. I should have picked one of these up, the Dior Onset Brow in 32 because I love it so much. It's so good. I have been going in without the pencil in a rush. I just use that one. But to get a more refined kind of tailored look, I go in with the Floresis Brow pencil, which I've been using. So that's my winning brow combination. And then I went in with a mascara that's new to me, but it's also by Shantikai. So it is the original formula. I hope I'm saying this correctly because I looked it up. It's the original formula of the mascara. So there's the Faux Seal Longest Slash Mascara, which of course I put all of my, oh is this it? I thought I put it away because I cleaned. We have the Faux Seal Longest Lash Mascara and you can see it's got the design on it. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but you can see it's got like a swirly design on or a wavy design and this one doesn't. So I used this one today. So I've got the Faux Seal Mascara on and this is the Faux Seal Longest Lash Mascara. So this one has the peptides that were added to it. This one does not. So I used this today because I wanted to see what the difference was and the results are beautiful. So if you ever wanted to try the Chantecaille mascara but you didn't want to use the one with peptides, this is the original formula without the peptides. It delivers the same beautiful results. It just doesn't have the peptides. So that's a lovely one. Then we've got the, of course, the Chantecaille Perfect Blur Powder with, oh my goodness, I just hit myself in the face with this. Let me just add a little bit here. Faux Seal, not Faux Seal, Perfect Blur Powder by Chantecaille Light Medium. Faux, not Faux Seal, that's the second time. Perfect Blur Powder with the Buff and Blur Brush. I love those two together. Then we have the Limited Edition Le Beige Bronzer. This one is in medium. For all over the face, I really do love this one, the medium shade, because of the tone of it. It just brightens my complexion a little bit as well. So love this. I went all over the face with this really gently with this brush, the La Mer Powder Brush. So I love this for light dusting. So I love these two together. And then I went in with the Rowan Lip Gloss in the shade Charlie. So I just wanted to put something together, something simple of the products that I really have been loving this month. And then for fashion, I love the New Balance sneakers I picked up. I picked up three because I wanted to get one pair. I ended up with three and still trying to decide what to do with them. But I can tell you I love the first pair I picked up. But the second pair is cute and so is the third. These shoes have the loveliest design. So I think it really just not only enhances what could otherwise be a clunky shoe. Because it is an athletic shoe, but especially with leggings, it really elongates the leg and has a very elegant line. So I think that's really why I like these for, especially like I said, an athletic shoe. So I know these are difficult to find, but I'll try and see what I can find um, in terms of links uh, for anything that's available. But let me know what you have been loving in the month of June, because I do read the comments. I look at recommendations, I research them, and that's one of the reasons I picked up the Tatcha product is because so many of you recommended it to me. So I do appreciate you taking the time to leave your recommendations in the comments section below. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.